Okay, I'm finally ready. Hey. Oh. What time? I dropped my melatonin through those boards, and so I had to crawl all the way under the hut from a from an opening at the other end to get it. Oh, was it under there actually? But I'm ready now. Uh, oh look, wood pile. We didn't use any last night, even though it got pretty cold. Well, they said the Hukere um, bridge was just built yesterday, put back up yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> so in good timing. <laughs> you can see a, what looks like a quartz vein through there. This is all metamorphic, this rock. It's been put under great pressure and great heat, so it's been cooked and squashed a bit. Oh, those clouds are moving. Looks cool. That's probably one of my favorite views so far. Skyrim right now. Skyrim. Look, there's a pretty Skyrim stream down there and some pretty Skyrim mountains and just over those mountains is Morrowind. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Skyrim. Skyrim, 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 we're in Skyrim. There's a bit of snow right up there because we're in Skyrim. Man, that is absolutely stunning. You have to admit that is stunning. This is a stunning area. Mountains, the clouds, there's a stream down here. These weird alpine plants, a bit of snow. You have to admit, this is a magical place. for me or are you just having a break my knees are sore <laughs> the 
those cliffs over there, eh? You see the uh, like the um, the strata is all sideways. It's been been moved from that position to that position at some point due to the uh, forces of the earth of the tectonic plates moving stuff around. Well, that's how these mountains formed. Ooh, that's a cool waterfall over there. Starts all the way way up there. You must go all the way down and form the stream that's in the that valley down there, or gully, whatever you want to call it. Tarina, I can see a bridge down there. Can you see the bridge? Way down in the valley. There's a lot of these little black butterflies flying around. I wonder what they are. That's another good view. Amazing view after amazing view. Oh look, there's one of those black butterflies. Where is it? Yeah, uh, where is it? Oh, it's over there. Oh, there's two of them. Can you see them? Ah, uh, oh, it's over there somewhere. Yeah, because you can see what we're walking on right now. And slow going, even for fast people, I'd say. And I'm slow regardless. So. <laughs> You know what, even though I love being up in these mountains, I can't wait to get into the shade. That sun is killer, man. Every part of my body is covered, except for my hands and, well, my neck probably. <laughs> oh, my neck's pretty shaded. And, uh, but I'm worried about my legs. You see they look quite red. I sh probably should have put sunblock on them, like my sister told me to, but I was like, ah, it'll be all right. Because I am stupid and she is smart. Yay, we're almost back to the tree line, which means I'll get a bit of shade. Can't wait. Well, aren't we spoiled? We've got a waterfall here. And obviously, as you may have noticed, we've got an even bigger one here. I think that's I think that's what I was hearing before. I don't think I was hearing the stream. I think I was hearing this. Let's go under the bridge and have a better look. Looks like it's break time. Break time, is it? Are you taking a break? Hi. Oh, I thought you were going to take a. Oh, okay. So we came from all the way. Hang on. Somewhere up there, oh, behind those, we can't really see where we've come from. <laughs> oh, there's another waterfall in there. Morning tea time. I feel like we're in, this shot kind of reminds me of like Colorado or British Columbia or somewhere in the Rocky Mountains or some, or uh, in the mountains of California or something, you know? Do you, do you watch lots of um, hiking videos? Yeah, I watch lots of different hiking videos. So here's something interesting that my sister just informed me of. Apparently this bridge here, during the winter months, they take it down uh, because they're worried about snow, uh, sorry, avalanches I should say, coming down and destroying it. Clambering over rocks again. You right. Getting 
further down into the valley. What's the difference between a valley and a gully? Look at all these unusual plants, these, I guess these are the subalpine ones because we're, we're into the tree line now, uh, quite unusual, I should look up what they are. You think those are the St. Arnold Ranges? Yeah, I think we'll be walking we'll, beside we'll, those. Oh, oh St. Arnold Range in the distance. That's what we could see uh, on the first day and the beginning of the second day. Oh yeah, getting closer and closer to the flat bit. It's pretty down there, isn't it? Steep bit. Not too bad. Is it steep or not too bad, that bit? Slide on your bum. Slide on your bum. We're at the bottom. We've hit rock bottom. Actually, no, we've hit grass bottom. I think it, when I look, you can see up there, it still goes down for a bit. Oh, it's still going to go down for a little bit? Yeah. Oh, that'll be a good spot for a photo. Doesn't get much better than this. Lying in a shade on a fairly warm day with a view like that in the background. And your weird sister doing strange pagan rituals with. <laughs> oh, he's stretching. This would be a really cool spot to pitch a tent. You got a little, little bit of a stream here, you can get your fresh water from. Pretty. That's pretty. Just, you keep walking, I'm just filming you walking by the, the stream. We seem to be following the stream, so that's nice. We get a little stream walk, a nice mountain walk, and then you get a nice stream walk. Don't get much better than that, does it? Look at it, it's a lovely stream, too.
said before, when you get views like that, it reminds me of like the Rocky Mountains or or northern or the mountains in Northern California or places like that, you know. Oh look, another stream crossing. <laughs> An unnamed stream. Looks like it gets pretty rough when it yeah. is going. And what was that one? Hugh Kitty. Hugh Kitty. Hugh Kitty. That's the one I've been following the whole way. A, a part time stream. Hey, just sitting down for a break. Small snack. Well, actually, actually no, not a small snack. We had lunch. Um, I haven't been doing much filming the last couple of hours because I can't be bothered. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, we've been walking through a lot of bush and we've been walking through by a river and we've also been walking by a river that had no water in it. And that's pretty much what we're doing. We've been pretty much what we've been doing. This bit of the track is slightly overgrown. I can't even see the... I'm always feeling my way through the path. There we go. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, watch out for the stumps and stuff, Terrain. Looks like a, another little grizzlinia. I think it is a lacida because the littoralis tend to grow more by the in uh, coastal areas, whereas the uh, grizzlinia lacida usually starts life as an epiphyte. Not look there again, see? They start life as epiphytes. See? All the way down there as well. There's a lanyard. There's more there. What stream? Shift. S H I F T. Oh. We've abandoned that other stream for this stream. Can't really tell the difference, to you not quite honest. Just a whole lot of running water. Clean running water, though. That's a good shot. Trees falling in. The banks eroded and collapsed. lost for a second but I think it's because our path was washed away <laughs> not too long ago by the looks of it either oh here we go I think this is yeah I think our path was just washed away now you take a photo of it oh there's the other end of our path <laughs> there it is oh wow so all that I must have where did we lose it? We lost it before the, we lost it way over uh, about there, so all that. Oh well, we had to, we had to walk up, up along that bit there. Oh, we have to go back up. Uh. Oh, did the, did the path just wash away or something? Whoop. More rocky terrain. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Whoops. Oh, we go. We found the track. 
Well, there's the, there's a there's an orange pointer behind your head. Look. Oh. I thought that's why you went up there. Oh, I just went up here because it looked like the logical way. Around. Oh. She only went up here because it looked like the logical way. <laughs> Here's the crossing point. We're, we're about to cross. We're going to walk parallel. The sand flies are biting. You say par uh, I thought we had to walk on an angle or something. Oh. The sand flies. Oh. oh my gosh, these biting flies. Oh, it got on me. Does it show? Uh, oh. Can you see all the sand flying around me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go as quickly as possible. Damn. Go away, sand flies! I'm trying to get a nice shot of a nice view. Uh, 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 biting black fly bastards. Nice alliteration. Biting black fly bastards. A black fly bastards. That'll be my new song. Biting black fly bastards. Look, look, see, there's one in my hand. Oh, oh there, there's two on that hand. Oh, oh. They're not on my legs now. When I wet my legs, get out of it. You, oh, get squashed, you little prick. Almost there. Another hut with a great view. Seem to have been blessed with huts with great views on this walk. Sun going down behind that mountain there. Oh, well, we're leaving a bit later than we hoped. Check out the mountains in the background. We're going to leave about 9 o'clock, which is probably the latest we've left. We've been leaving later and later each day. I think on the first, on the, on the morning after staying at the Bushline Hut, we left like 7.30. And then yesterday we left, um, we left the uh, Angelus Hut about quarter past eight. Now it's nine, so it's been 45 minutes later each day. So, as you can see, this was the hut we're staying in, uh, the Lakehead Hut. We ended up having quite a few people in there. Um, it was uh, obviously me and Tarina. Then um, there was a, a French lady there by herself. And then there was a couple of Kiwi, uh, then there was a, uh, a couple of New Zealanders. Yeah, a couple of Kiwis and, uh, um, and a Canadian. And those three were running this um, outdoors group. And a bunch of um, people from the United States came over. One of them was, two of them from Minnesota. There you go, Nibamox. Um, uh, uh, one was from Colorado, one was from California, and one was from Massachusetts. So all over, all over America, and their accents were all a bit different as well. <laughs> By the way, I'll show you what I did. <laughs> Check this out. On this uh, pinup board inside the hut. 
<laughs> bit of bit of advertising, you know. Got to got to plug the channel. Bye bye, stinky toilets. Right here is the campsite, as in the tenting site. The that's just a a couple of minutes walk from uh, the um, Lakehead hut. So, Stephanie, if you're here, that's where you would have been staying. <laughs> so like, a, is that the is that the um, the other hut, that, the uh, cold water hut or something? Because there's a I can see a hut on the other side of the uh, on the other bank. Or is it a different hut? Oh, there's some little baby ducklings there. Uh, where, were, where was it? Uh, it was over there somewhere. Uh, where is it? Oh, there. Is that a scorp? Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Ah, oh, yeah. That looks like quite a nice hut, though. No, it's not. Oh, from the outside, it looks alright. No, it's got lots of mozzies. Oh, well, the one we're in had it's lots small. of sandflies, so. It's small. Uh, Right. Have a look at the wharf. Oh, you get a better uh, view of that hut now. No eel fishing. Oh, they say a sign no catching eels. <laughs> well, they're probably trying to preserve them. They're probably. Sure. Very peaceful out here. Can you see our hut? No, you can't really. No, you can't see it. When they're in the when they're in the bush like this, I can't tell if they're littoralis or the cedar. Yeah, but oh, I don't know. I... What are they called? Scorp. Like car tunnel, maybe? Native ones, eh? Mm. Uh oh, stream crossing. Socks are going to get wet again. Oh, it's not very deep there.
See that? There's one growing out of a dead tree, he has an epiphyte. Another stream crossing, and I just changed my socks. Serena reckons that bush line hut is up there somewhere. Probably out of our line of vision though. Uh, probably, uh, yeah, well somewhere up there, who knows. to the bush. This is a interesting bridge. The uh, all the rubble and rocks and stuff have washed over it. it. Doesn't even pass over a stream now. Looks like the stream goes right through it. Must get pretty powerful through here when it's uh, when there's been a lot of rain.
<laughs> it's locked, it doesn't have a bridge anymore. Just flat on all the debris. And all washed down and... <laughs> Let's have another look at it. That's crazy, eh? Excellent load, five persons. I don't think it matters how many people are on here now. <laughs> look at that. River's taking over the bridge. Well, when there is one. Hey, we're at a junction between the loop track and the not loop track. And we're definitely not taking the loop track because we've been walking long enough. Back to car park, half an hour. Which means it'll take us 45 minutes. Mm. <sighs> Stairs, now. Ah, exciting. Ah. At least it's a change. Ah, boardwalk, exciting. <laughs> the closer we get to St. Arnold, the more uh, fancy things get. Oh, lots of boardwalk. Lots and lots of boardwalk. We'll get there in no time. Oh, no, the boardwalk ends now. Bye-bye, uh, boardwalk. Another sign giving us much, uh, much information. Oh. But we already, you already told us that, like, Five minutes ago. But there's another junction here. So oh, we can okay. Oh, there's another junction. St. Arnold's Range. Oh, you can walk along the St. Arnold's Range. Huh. Okay. Is this it? Oh, no. These signs keep tricking me into thinking that we're at the end of the walk. Look at that, this Grisolinia, uh, Grisolinia lateralis, has its own sign. Aren't you lucky, Grisolinia? You've got your own sign, telling people what you are. The old bird walk and other walks. Hmm. Oh, 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 hey, 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 oh. <laughs> you got yelled at by the mum duck. She scared the mum duck and her ducklings and just then that yelled at her. <laughs> you got yelled at, ha ha. Oh, damn it. Oh, that clip, that clip. That was the first time that I lost that clip, so I've used that for my drink bottle. Clipped it onto my bag, you see. But it's the first time it's fallen off. So that's good. Yeah, you tell her off. You tell her off for cheating. She's still yelling at me. <laughs> she looked at me and whacked. <laughs> Yay! Kiwi zone. I didn't see any Kiwis. Or maybe they're talking about us. Oh well. Bye bye, folks. Until next time. <laughs>